General. My lord, the fleet has moved out of light speed. Comscan has detected an energy field protecting an area of the sixth planet of the Hoth system. The field is strong enough to deflect any bombardment. The rebels are alerted to our presence. Admiral Ozzel came out of light speed too close to the system. He, he felt surprised, was wiser. He is as clumsy as he is stupid. General, prepare your troops for a surface attack. Yes, my lord. I never thought a, a team would come back to Los Angeles. And now I am officially a Rams fan. Yes, I'm proud to say that I'm a Rams fan. You can call me a bandwagoner. You can call me whatever you like. You can call me a bandwagoner. You can call me whatever you like. You can call me a bandwagoner. You can call me whatever you like. But hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna root for the LA team. Before you motherfuckers start saying fucking bandwagon fan, <coughs> this is my hometown, LA. I was here when the fucking Rams were here before fucking St. Louis snatched them up from us. Fucking despise them since they're back. I was a little conflicted, but uh, welcoming them with open arms, dude. Still love the Packers. Support what a fucking wonderful franchise that is. Still love the Packers. Support what a fucking wonderful franchise that is. Still love the Packers. Support what a fucking wonderful franchise that is. But I'm rolling with my hometown team, the LA Rams, baby. Cheers. From 1990 through 1998, the Rams were actually the worst NFL franchise of that decade. They were on their way, the Rams were well on their way to be the worst team of the 1990s. So basically from 1990 through now, you know, 2015 going into the 2016 uh, next season, uh, the Rams just had like four really good years, and for the most part, they've been abysmal. Other than that, to the LA fan, LA fans, good luck with this franchise, because there's gonna be a lot of sad LA Rams fans. You know, I don't really care where the Rams play football. They could be in St. Louis. They could be in LA. They could be on the planet Mars. I really don't care. I'm just saying, if you take out a handful of years with the greatest show on turf and, and one with Mark Bulger, this has been a joke of a franchise for the majority of the last 25 years. Same old sorry ass Rams. Uh-huh, honey. Man, these Rams fans are scared, and I know why they're scared. Cause they know that all they got to bring to the table is four niggas and a running back. A pass rush and Todd Gurley. When we talk about this Rams great defense, we ain't talking about that linebacking core. We talk about this Rams great defense. We ain't talking about that secondary. No, all we talking about is them four niggas. That pass rush, man. That's it, man. That pass rush is all they got. That's all they got. But they forget that this new offensive line right now is looking strong. Real strong, man. So that pass rush, man, is non-existent to me. I ain't scared of that. And I already told you, man, your linebacking core is trash. Huh? Your secondary is trash. It don't matter the receiver, man. Come on, man. We can talk about Torrey Smith and how he killed your secondary. We can talk about Quentin Patton, Bruce Ellington. We can take it way back. Way back, man. John Taylor, Jerry Rice, T.O. Nah, let's bring it back to the future with Kyle Williams, Michael Crabtree. It don't matter what the receiver was. Even Anquan Bolden, who was the slowest person on our offense, still burned your secondary man so all you got is four niggas and Todd Gurley a pass rush and a running back Same old sorry ass man. now let's talk about your offense Todd Gurley one running back not a running back core just one person you think you're gonna put the whole entire football team on his back and you know what's gonna happen you're gonna break it you're gonna snap it in half and put the boy on the sideline early in the season what happened to your tight end oh that's right your best tight end you shipped him to Green Bay Huh? Your wide receivers. Let's go ahead and talk about the wide receiver you gave that big contract to, man. Tavon Austin. Let's see. He's a 900-yard receiver. The boy plays special teams. He runs punts for you niggas. The boy plays wide receiver. He catches balls for you niggas. He even plays running back and rushes for you niggas and pulls 900 yards. But hold up. Wait a minute. This nigga plays special teams and runs punts for you niggas. This dude plays wide receiver and catches balls for you niggas. This dude plays running back and rushes for you niggas and he still can only get 900 yards? And you think that's worth $40 million? Same old sorry ass man. Do 
you guys want to talk about my football team? You talk about my quarterback controversy. For what? For what reason? Because it really don't matter which quarterback plays, man. Either one going to kill you, niggas. Come on, Colin Kaepernick in his whole career versus the Rams averaged about 380 yards total against you, niggas, man. And Blaine Gabbert. Blaine Gabbert played you boys his first time. His first time in a Niner uniform played against the Rams and dropped by what? 350 yards against you, niggas? 350 yards? Blaine Gabbert? Who? 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 350 yards against you, niggas? Come on, man. Where that great defense at? Where that great secondary at? Oh, that's right. You ain't got it. Where them linebackers at? Oh, that's right. You ain't got it. Because all you got is four niggas and a running back. Same old sorry ass Rams. And Jeff Fisher. Don't get me started on that nigga. Look at this. Jeff Fisher. He can't even get to 8-8. Eight eight. Do I have to explain the fact that your coach can't put together a winning football team? Do I have to explain the fact that your coach can't put together a winning offense? Do I have to explain the fact that your coach don't know how to mold a young quarterback? That's why your first overall pick is not sitting first string, not sitting second string, but sitting the pine right now at third string. Not going to dress up because your coach don't know what to do with a young quarterback. Your coach don't know how to coach. Come on, man. Jeff Fisher is a loser. Since he's been the Rams head coach, you guys haven't seen what no more than what seven wins? Seven wins? This dude is trash. He shouldn't have a job. Matter of fact, Jeff Fisher's on the road to be one of the worst coaches we've seen in this NFL's history, man. The boy is bad. He's horrible. But talk about Chip Kelly if you want to. Talk about the fact that the boy didn't had two 10 win seasons. Come on, man. Two 10 win seasons, man. I don't care what nobody say, man. Tell me a time when Jeff Fisher had 10 wins. Same old sorry ass Rams. So let's add it all up. My offense versus your offense is better. My football team mentality is better. My quarterback has been proven to beat your football team. My receivers have been proven to kill your secondary. My running back core is better than just your running back alone. So tell me, Scrams fans, how are you going to beat us? How are you going to put together a game plan that's going to take us out? How are you going to beat the Kings on Monday night or Monday night football in San Francisco? A home game for us. How are you going to beat us, man? Tell me how are you going to beat us with a coach that can't win. It can't win no more than seven games. A coach that's known to lose. A coach that's known to choke. A coach that's known to be one of the worst. One of the worst we've seen in this decade, man. Tell me, man. Tell me how you gonna win. Tell me how you gonna get victory with just four niggas, a running back, and Jeff Fisher. He's like 10 wins away from having the most losses as a head coach in NFL history. Tragic. Uh-huh, honey.